me out for walkies. Oh, thanks. We're having a rest, aren't we? It's been a long walk. Yeah. So I'm just currently out for a walk with Trix. Um, we've been out for quite a while, 10,000, and it's not even 11 o'clock yet. But I thought you could spend the weekend with me. You worn out, Trix? Should we go home? Trixie, go home? Come on then. You cute. You got sore legs from the walkies. From the walkies? We don't want to go again, do we? No, we don't want to go again. Walkies? No. <laughs> Dindins in a minute though. Dindins? So it's much later in the day and after sitting in the garden for probably too long reading my book I have come upstairs to try to stop procrastinating and actually get some of my blog work done and I've just spent the last 35 minutes scheduling promotional tweets um, which is just so time consuming but on a daily basis it really helps so yeah as much as I hate doing it I was so behind as well because I normally do it at the end of each month I do for the next month um but unfortunately I was away and then I just never got back into it so we're already today is Friday the 13th of May as I'm filming this and to well tomorrow is the first scheduled tweet that I've actually done um so I've scheduled for the next six weeks in the hope that I keep on top of it a bit better. And especially because I've got a lot of dates in June when I'm actually away. Um, I've got quite a few events going on. So I don't want to think about what I need to tweet. Um, so hopefully that'll help. Well, I'm really hoping that you're not going to fall into the sink because I've just put loads of water in there and you're balanced. However... I have a confession. I went to the pub yesterday and I doled myself all up. There's a reel um, that I did a before and after reel, um, which I'll leave linked down below. But when I got home, I didn't take my makeup off. So I need to take it off now because, I mean, you can't really see too much, but it's literally crumbling off of my face. And it feels horrible and I know I'm going to get spots from it so I just need to sort it out. So I just thought I would quickly share with you exactly what I do. So the first thing I do is obviously wet my face. That is a must. I might have to take my cardigan off actually. Which reminds me of this cardigan. I've got some, I went on a little shopping, a little shopping trip to Sainsbury's the other day. And picked up a few bits in the sale so I thought I would share them with you in this vlog because there's a few bargains there so oh. even just wetting my face feels so much better oh. I can't believe 
I went to work with yesterday's makeup on and I went for a dog walk with the makeup still on and I mean it's now six o'clock in the evening and it's still on. So to cleanse my skin I'm using the new skin activating cleanser and I've got this in the normal to combo skin. Just going to Gently rub it in. If you can hear any noises as well, the dog's the other side of the door. She's not very happy that I haven't let her in to the bathroom. Anyone else's pets like that? You just don't get a moment's peace. So then I'm using my much loved Lumi Spa. Um, I will probably do a full review on these at some point but this has been an absolute game changer for me. So I'm just gonna wet it and then press start. So that has cleansed my skin and it's definitely done, I don't know if it's going to focus all that well, but it's definitely done a good job. I mean, yeah, it's grim what's come off my skin. And then it's really easy, you just take, I say it's really easy, my hands are slippery, you just take off the head, you run this and this under the tap, just give it a quick clean, dry it with a towel, and then it's good to go for next time. So that is how I cleanse my skin. And there's actually an offer at the moment um, where you can get this in a bundle together. So I'll leave that linked below if you're interested because yeah, I've been using this for the last couple of months and I absolutely love it. Game changing products. And then just to give my skin a little bit something extra, Oh, without knocking everything off. I have been using the Hyaluronic Acid Serum by Hydra Vital, I think is the brand. Um, it just looks like this. I was a bit sceptical about this to start with, but oh my God, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. It goes on like a watery gel, I suppose is the only way. I can uh, describe it and then obviously you rub it in and then it starts to go a bit like sticky and a bit weird and I thought oh I'm not gonna like this um, but actually it soaks into the skin really well and that stickiness disappears but leaves you with such smooth moisturized skin um yeah i kept stroking my face when i was first using it because i was like oh it feels so like smooth um but yes i probably look like a bit of a weirdo to be fair but my skin between the lumi spa the cleanser and this serum my skin has improved so so much I mean I've still got a bit of scarring down here and whatnot and I get the occasional hormonal breakout but nothing like what I was getting um so yeah so just for transparency as well <sighs> just for transparency the Hydra Vital um hyaluronic acid serum was sent to me to try not to be spoken about in this video as such it was for a full review on my blog so if that is live by the time this video goes up which it should be then I'll leave a link down below for that. And as I said earlier, I'll also leave the link to where you can get your Lumi Spa and cleanser in a bundle as well. This is the best angle I'm gonna get because I don't know where my tripod is at the minute. So we're just gonna work with it, but I thought I'd quickly show you some of the things I picked up in the Sainsbury sale. So the first thing I picked up was this cardigan. It's super, super long. In fact, you can see, so it goes, it's just below my knee on me. I am, 
five foot one um and i'm roughly about 12 to 14 usually just for clarification and i went for a small in this and i absolutely love it i feel like this would be perfect for um days out the beach where you just want something long for the evening or even for like a flight i've literally been in this non-stop i bought it on tuesday i think and it's now friday and i've practically lived in it um it could definitely do with a wash now that's for sure um but i just really liked the stripes they are i don't know how well they're coming up on camera but they are navy um and yeah i just feel like this would go with anything like i said it'd be perfect if you're going on a flight or traveling or all sorts really um I've definitely been wearing this when I do swimming of an evening because obviously when you get out of the pool it is freezing so um, yeah this has been a welcome addition to my wardrobe and it was £25 down to £12.50 complete bargain and I love it. I just wanted to mention these leggings as well these are the cropped leggings so that's sort of the length on them um, they weren't in the sale, they were £10 for a pack of two, I normally buy the full length ones. I accidentally picked these up thinking they were the full length ones and I'm not usually a fan of cropped ones but I actually really like them, they're so comfy just like their longer length ones. Um, they're not, they're, I mean if you were to buy a small size they probably would stretch and go a bit see through but if you buy the right size for you I went for a 12 to 14 in these so far they're not see through at all and they're really really comfy um and I think for a pack of two for 10 pound they are great quality actually so I just wanted to mention those whilst I was um showing you some clothes obviously I wouldn't normally wear this t-shirt under a jumper like this however it's just for showing you at the minute um so this jumper was 22 pounds reduced to six pounds 60 and it's super super soft i love it it's just the right length it's not um too long not too short and i actually got this in a size Eight. but it's perfect like there's room on the arms it probably was meant to be a baggy one anyway but I mean I feel like there's still some room in it there's room on the arms and I'm not a fan of oversized or overly oversized stuff because being that little bit bigger I find that sometimes I just look like a sack of potatoes so um yeah I really like this one so you may notice a bit of a theme obviously I do like leopard print and you'll probably see a lot of leopard print on this channel especially when it comes to clothing I mean for example my slippers are even le leopard print as well um but this jumper again super soft and it's just got the contrast in sleeves and the nice leopard print detail um the camera's making it a bit washed out but it is grey and cream as well and again this was a size small and it was £20 reduced down to £6. And then last but by no means least is this gorgeous green sweatshirt um, and again leopard print detail. I did say there would be a theme. I love the green, the shade of green is one of my favourite colours. Um, especially on me I feel like it's quite a nice flattering colour and I think it works really well with these crop leggings as well if you were just going for a walk or popping over to a park with kids or family, friends, a dog, whatever. I feel like this is a good outfit just to throw on. Um, they only had it in a size 16 in my store and I was M and R as to whether it would be a bit too big but actually yes it does tent out but it's quite shaped. Um, so I think you get away with it and then it also <laughs> covers my bum as well so um this is definitely a winner as well and this was 16 pounds reduced down to eight um and then I thought I would just quickly mention as well I did go back and pick up the two pack of the normal length leggings um again two pairs for 10 pound and then my favorite ones the waistbands are nice size um they stay up you don't have to keep pulling them up all the time and like I say they're not see-through which to me is a winner and I got those in size 12 to 14 so it really just go to show that um, different shops and even different styles of clothing can be all different sizes and it's best to just either try things on or hold them up to you and just 
go by how close feel and not the size that they are. We wash this down on the line. So typically I put loads of stuff on eBay and I put quite a bit on Facebook Marketplace as well. Um, I'm having a major, major clear out. If there's still anything um, on eBay, I'll leave the link to my page down below and you can check it out, see if there's anything you want. Um, but typically I've sold loads of things so now I need to go out and find them and they're currently stored in the caravan so wish me luck. I managed to check the dog and um, get around the garden before the person come to collect what they bought off of Facebook which is good. Although uh, I think she sussed that something was in me. Plans for this evening. Hopefully in a bit I get to catch up on the second semi-final of Eurovision. Yes, I am one of those that absolutely loves Eurovision. Um, I watched the first part and then the second part was on last night, so I'm going to watch it tonight, ready for the grand final tomorrow. Obviously you'll know who won if you watch it, you'll know by the time this video goes out, but I think we all know who is probably going to win this year. Um, and to be fair... I'm not bothered about that. I just quite enjoy seeing some of the weird stuff that makes Eurovision. Good morning. You gonna stay there while Mama goes to the gym? Tuck your back in then. I haven't really vlogged. Um, the car boots I went really well. I sold lots of bits. Still got quite a bit behind me. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I need to do another one now. I think I'm just going to go home. It started raining now, as you can see. Um, so I think I'm just going to go home, put some comfies on, and hopefully enjoy the evening and see what happens. Does anyone else feel like the weekends just go way too quickly? I mean, it's Sunday and it's half four. And granted, I did a car boot so earlier, but I've done nothing else. I had such a to-do list to do this weekend. And I think I've ticked off two things. I'm just currently trying to upload my birthday or what I got for my birthday video. It's got 2% left to go and it crashed. So I'm just trying to revive that. I've put the dinner in, we're having a roast and somehow I've ended up cooking it. I'm not quite sure why. So I've sorted that out. Um, I need to tidy my room again. I feel like every vlog is just going to be, I need to tidy my room. Um, but yeah, I've got washing to pack away and a few other bits and pieces. And have a little bit of a tidy and a clean up of the house as well. So adult in life at its best, I think. Good morning everyone, happy Monday. The phone is currently going, which is really annoying, um, but we're just gonna roll with it because it's just a scammer and they keep trying. Um, I didn't really film much over the weekend considering it was a weekend vlog. I don't know how much footage um, I actually got, to be honest, but it doesn't feel like a lot. I have just got back from work and sat straight down and filmed a couple of videos. So I filmed a monthly favourites and I'm also in the process of filming a morning routine as well so they will be up on the channel soon if they're not already. Um, let's talk about the weekend. I'm also using my new ring light which um, I mentioned in my birthday, what I got for my birthday video and I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. It makes this room look so light considering it's such a dark and dismal day. Um, so yeah, the weekend. Firstly, what happened with Eurovision? I mean, I've been a long, long time fan of Eurovision. Every year 
I sit down, glass of wine or cider or something, and we have some snacks from a different country. Um, we don't go all out as a party, but we do. We like to celebrate and enjoy it. Um, so I watched the two semi-finals. What was San Marino, firstly? I feel like I've been scarred for life by watching that. Um, yeah, not quite sure what to make of that one. Bit strange. Um, it was amazing seeing the Rasmus again. Um, I used to be a huge, huge fan in my early teenage years. Um, and the song did grow on me. I wasn't, I wouldn't say it's a firm favourite, but the song did grow on me towards the end. Um, but yeah, the final. Who would have thought we would have come second place? Who would have thought it? I mean, it's been 20 years since um, we did so well, apparently, according to the news this morning. And yeah, funny enough, I wasn't actually that keen on the song. And I did think, oh, you know, it's not going to do very well. But it did. It did so well. Um, whether it's political or not, I'm not really bothered. Um, either way, to be honest, I just think the fact that we were up there whether it was because of the music, the song, the artist, politics, whatever, we came second place in Eurovision. I'm a bit gutted as well because my favourite song was actually Germany and they did the worst. Um, but yeah, I did really like that song and I've used that quite a bit on a few reels and stuff as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so that was Saturday and obviously that went on, as Eurovision always does, that went on for absolute ages. Um, I just wanted them to hurry up and announce the winner by the end because I just wanted to go to bed because obviously I did the car boot sale on the Sunday. Um, that went really well. I sold lots of things. I made about £50, so um, I'm happy with that because a lot of it, well, to be honest, all of it was £2 or less. So the fact that I managed to sell and make just over £50, um, I'm chuffed with that and I can't wait to do another one to be honest I'm like looking around everywhere like do I really want this can I sell it like can I do another car boot sale I thoroughly enjoyed it um but it was very very tiring yeah so I woke up at six o'clock as I planned to do um to get everything organized for the car boot sale which I must admit was a bit of a struggle um after watching Eurovision and not going to bed until about you know one o'clock and then by the time I actually go to sleep and um one thing and another but so yeah that was a bit of a struggle but we loaded up the car got everything ready and we're sat in the queue waiting to get in for um I think we got there about quarter to nine something like that sellers could arrive from nine o'clock but before that they just um put you in lines ready to go in and everything in this field um, so that was fine. Buyers aren't allowed in until 10 o'clock so that kind of gives you a little bit of respite to actually set up without people um, rummaging in your boot kind of thing. The first time I did a car boot so they didn't have that rule and it honestly scarred me for life um, because we were reversing and somebody was trying to open our boot to see what we had and I just thought that it's just crazy um, and then when they changed the format this is now the second car boots i've done since they changed the format and it's so much better um definitely more relaxed easier um so got there set up and everything we had a little bit of time to spare um because we set up quite quickly to make sure that it was all out we were ready before people come in um and then we were in the line where um people come in so we were kind of the first row i guess that a lot of people came down um so we saw them opening the gates for the people to come in. They were all queued up waiting to come in and everything. And people were running. They were actually... <laughs> it is it, mind-boggling to me. But they actually... They, this person opened the gate. And all I could see was these people running. So that they could, I guess, be the first to get the bargains. I don't know. Um, I just... I couldn't stop laughing. Um yeah crazy um so that was that selling went really well there was a few people that 
wanted something for nothing. I mean, I was giving it away dead cheap anyway, I suppose, in a way. I just wanted it gone. Um, and a little bit of money, because it just... Otherwise, it would have either gone to a charity shop or most likely the bin. So I thought I'd just take it along. Anything I get for it was fine. Um, but somebody asked me if I wanted to sell a pair of shoes for 10p. So that was a no. Um, yeah, and then we packed up. And whilst we were packing up, we kind of split it down again. So there was the stuff that I would quite happily bring back. So it was a lot of like clothes, shoes, books... Um, that I put in the boxes that I'd quite happily come back and do another car boot sale with and then there was other things like bric-a-brac and stuff like that which I thought no don't really want to transport this around there was no interest in it or anything um, so I'll just take that to the charity shop so we had that and we also had a couple of bits that we were like do you know what we'll just take it to the reuse shop at the tip as well so we loaded the car back up um, in an organised way so that we could go to the charity shop on the way home, followed by the tip, and then go home and offload the stuff that we decided to bring back. Um, so that was all very good. I ended up buying a pair of jeans in the charity shop. So I did spend some of the profit, but it was only £3, so I don't mind too much. Yeah, and then just came home, ended up cooking a roast. So I don't quite know how I got roped into that. I can't remember if I mentioned that yesterday or not. Um, and then edited a video and uploaded that whilst that was the food was cooking. Um, and then watched film whilst we were eating. I say film, it's like one of those, um, I guess you would call it like a factual film. I don't really know. It was a film, um, but it was telling the history of something. Um, so that was really nice to watch. It was called Shady Lady. It was plane related, so I won't bore you too much. But um, yeah, the way that they'd done it, I ended up crying at the end. Um, just a quick outline of the film. Um, so it starts off with this film crew filming this lady on a beach with this native Australian I don't think they were Maori I don't know who they were they were a tribe of people anyway in um, Australia and she's on this beach and she's picking up these parts of a plane and I thought oh no this is going to be a tearjerker from the outset like I wonder who this you know this woman is she must have been about 80 odd if not more and um, then it tells the story um, with proper actors and everything and it goes through this raid that they're doing, um, which turned out to be, at that time, I don't know if it still is, it was the longest ever um, bombing range at the time. I would imagine it's not now because modern day bombers can go a long way. Um, but they were up in the air for like 15 hours or something, which to me is crazy because I mean there's no, <laughs> I always think of the practicality, there's no toilet. They probably didn't have anything to eat or drink, like, you know. Um, and just that level of concentration for that length of time is incredible. Um, and it isn't until the end of the film that you realise that the woman on the beach at the start, uh, and it does go back to that clip um, as well, it, it starts with it and finishes with the same interview. It's actually the pilot's wife. Um, and yeah, it just puts a whole different perspective on it and makes you realise um, just what these incredible pilots, even now, um, what they're doing. A lot of it, it was in the news a few weeks ago with obvious current world events, um, but it has gone quiet. But it's not to say that they aren't still doing it. And to think that there's so much that we don't know about that goes on. Yeah, and... I know I wouldn't have because obviously it's a different country, but the amount of times I've probably walked past somebody that has had their part to play in something amazing like that, and you just never know. Um, so it really stopped and made me think, and yeah, like I say, I did cry at the end. <laughs> um, and obviously the weekend was blurred a bit by certain news breaking um, to do with the Red Arrows. I'm not going to discuss it because I'm, other than obviously just to quickly mention it here, I'm so sick of talking about it. What will be will be and 
I don't really know what to say on the subject because it's just not something I expected to hear but never mind so then went to work this morning sold a couple more bits on Facebook marketplace um one collected this morning one's collecting this evening um so still decluttering I did think I might maybe do like a decluttering or like clean with me declutter something along those lines possibly I don't know I don't know if it's something that you'd be interested in um because I don't want it to always be vlogs but I know that I stick with a lot of vlogs because they're easier to film and edit so I don't know what would you like to see on this channel I will ask this every time probably um but yeah I think that pretty br much brings you up to scratch on the weekend it's probably me repeating myself all weekend saying what I'm going to do then what I've done and then this recap as well um yeah I just didn't film as much as I thought I was going to um I was hoping to film a little bit more behind the scenes of my blog but that didn't happen so um maybe next time though so if you've watched this long and rambly video um then thank you for sticking around I really appreciate it and thank you as well for all the lovely messages and stuff that I've had about coming back it has really made me feel like I'm making the right decision just as a side note I don't know what my content's going to be like for the next couple of months because I am really really busy um, so you might end up with montages or little vlogs or I'm gonna try and film some sit down videos that I can upload and have going up when I'm um, away so it might be a bit disjointed which I apologize for because I know I've only just come back and I don't want to mess you around kind of thing um, but yeah the summer is always really busy for me and it probably wasn't the best time to come back I should have done it either before or after but never mind we are here so thank you for watching please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all again soon bye bye